okay so now we're going to start making the toes and the feet so for the toes we're going to make uh, three of them so we're going to make two first and then for the third one we're not going to cut the yarn we're going to continue to the feet okay so first we're going to start with the magic ring and then we're going to do six single crochet into the magic ring so we're going to do one two three four five six okay okay and then now for the second row uh, we're going to do two single crochet uh, two single crochet and then increase and then again two single crochet and increase okay so we're going to do single crochet in the first two stitches so i'm going to do single crochet one and then single crochet two and increase in the next stitch okay and then you're going to repeat that one more time so single crochet single crochet and increase Okay, so after that uh, in our third row we're going to do three single crochet then increase and repeat two times for a total of 10 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one single crochet two then single crochet three and then increase in the next stitch Okay, so increase okay and then you're going to repeat that one more time so three single crochet and increase okay so after you're done with that uh, in our fourth row we're going to do four single crochet then increase and repeat again for a total of uh, 12 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three four and then increase in the next stitch okay and then you're going to repeat that one more time okay so that is the last row so when you're done you're going to cut off the yarn okay so make sure you make uh, two toes like this so I already made mine but for the third one, do not cut off the end because we're going to join all the toes together. Okay, so after you're done making the other two toes, uh, in your current toe, we're going to do six single crochet. So we're going to do single crochet. One, two, three, four, five six okay and then after that uh we're going to take uh, the other toe that we already made and then we are going to do six single crochet into the next toe so from where we left off we're going to continue do single crochet one two three four five six okay so and then after you're done with that uh in the next toe we're going to pick the next toe and then we're going to do 12 single crochet into the next toe so we're going to go and do single crochet one and then we're going to continue single crochet two three four five six 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, so after we do 12 single crochet, we're going to the next, uh, we're going to do to the next toe and then do six single crochet in the next one. Okay, so I'm going to continue here and do single crochet. Single crochet one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, and then I'm going to go into the next toe and do the same thing. So I'm going to do six single crochet into the next toe. Okay, so I'm going to continue here and do single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so that will complete our joining row. So now we have a total of 36 stitches. Okay. So now we go into the sixth row. So in our sixth row, we are going to start by doing five single crochets. Okay, so we are going to do single crochet. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then we are going to decrease. In the next step so we're going to do one decrease okay and then after that we're going to do four single crochets so single crochet one two three four Okay, and then we're going to decrease again. Okay, so we're going to do one decrease. Okay. And then we're going to do 10 single crochets. So we're going to do single crochet one, two, Three. okay so continue until you have 10 single crochets okay so after you're done with the 10 single crochet in the next step we are going to decrease again okay and then after decreasing we're going to do four single crochets so we're going to do single crochet one two three and four okay and then after that we are going to decrease again okay and then when you're done you're going to do single crochet in the next five stitches okay so you're going to do single crochet single crochet okay until you finish okay so that makes it a total of 32 stitches in that row Okay, so after you're done with that, uh, in our seventh row, we're going to do single crochet all the way across for a total of 32 stitches. Okay, so do single crochet all the way and then uh, we're going to start the next row together. Okay, so after you're done with the seventh row, in the eighth row, uh, we're going to start by doing seven single crochets first. So we're going to do single crochet one. 
two, three. Okay, so continue until you have seven single crochets. Okay, so after the seven single crochets, we are going to decrease in the next two stitches. So we're going to do one decrease. And then after that, we're going to do 14 single crochets. So we're going to do single crochet one, two, three. Okay, so continue until you have 14 single crochets. Okay, so after the 14 single crochets, we are going to decrease in the next two stitches. So decrease. And then after that, in the remaining seven stitches, we are going to do single crochet. So we're going to have a total of 30 stitches in this row. So you're going to continue and do single crochet, single crochet until the end. Okay, so after you're done with that, uh, in the next two rows, which is row nine and row 10, you're going to do single crochet all the way across in each row for a total of uh, 30 stitches in each row. So I'll see you when you're done with the 10th row so that we start the 11th row together. Okay, so after we're done with the 10th row, in our 11th row, we're going to start by doing seven single crochets first. So we're going to do single crochet one single crochet two three four five six and seven okay and then after that we are going to decrease okay and then uh, we're going to do 13 single crochets. So you're going to count single crochet one, two, three. Okay, so continue until you have 13 single crochets. Okay, so after the 13 single crochets, we are then going again to decrease. Okay, so we're going to decrease. Okay, and then in the remaining six stitches, we're going to do single crochet across. So we're going to have a total of 28 single crochets. Okay, so continue with the single crochet until you finish. Okay, so after that, uh, in the 12th row, uh, we're going to start by doing six single crochet. So we're going to do single crochet one, two, three. Four, five, six. Okay, and then after that, we are going to decrease. Okay, and then we're going to do 12 single crochets. So we're going to do single crochet. One, two. Okay, so continue until you have 12 single crochets. Okay, and then after that, we are going to decrease again okay and then in the remaining six stitches you're going to do single crochet across so do single crochet single crochet all the way across until the end Okay, so now we'll have a total of 26 stitches. Okay, so after that, uh, in the 13th row, we're going to start by doing five single crochets. So we're going to do single crochet one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so after the five single crochet, we are going to decrease. And then we're going to do 11 single crochets. So single crochet, one, two. Okay, so continue until you have 11 single crochets. Okay, and then after that, we are going to decrease again. And then do single crochet all the way across until the end. 
so we're going to have a total of 24 stitches so after that uh, in the 14th row we're going to start by doing two single crochet we're going to do two single crochet then decrease and repeat all the way around for a total of 18 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one single crochet two and then decrease and then you're going to repeat that all the way across so two single crochet and then decrease okay so repeat all the way until the end Okay, so after you're done with that, uh, in our next row, which is our 15th row, we are going to do single crochet all the way across for a total of 18 stitches. Okay, so do single crochet all the way and then we're going to do the 16th row together. Okay, so after you're done with that, make sure you stuff your feet. So as you can see, I already did that because we are almost finished. So in our next row, which is our 16th row, we're going to do single crochet then decrease and repeat all around for a total of 12 stitches so we're going to do single crochet and decrease and then we're going to keep repeating that so single crochet decrease okay so repeat that all the way until the end Okay, so after you're done with that, uh, in our next row, which is our last row, we're going to decrease all the way across for a total of 6 stitches. So you're going to decrease and then keep decreasing all the way. Okay, so decrease all the way to the end and then when you're done, you're going to cut, to, to cut your yarn and leave it long enough for uh, sewing and then after that we're going to start making the legs okay so now for the upper leg we're going to start with the magic ring and six single crochets into the magic ring so i already did that so in our second row we are going to increase every stitch for a total of 12 stitches so i'm going to do two single crochet in the next stitch And then I'm going to increase in every stitch all the way around. So increase. Okay, so continue increasing until you get to the end. Okay, so after that, uh, in our third row, uh, we're going to do single crochet, then increase and repeat all the way for a total of 18 stitches. So we're going to do single crochet and then increase in the next stitch. And then we're going to keep repeating that so single crochet and increase okay so continue repeating that all the way round okay so after that uh, in our fourth round we're going to do two single crochet then increase and repeat all the way for a total of 24 stitches so we're going to do a single crochet one single crochet two and then increase and we're going to keep repeating that so two single crochet and increase Okay, so we're going to keep repeating that all the way round. Okay, so after you're done with that, uh, in the next five rounds, which is from row five until row nine, you're going to do single crochet all the way round in each round for a total of 24 stitches in each round. So I'll see you when you're done with the ninth row so that we start the tenth row together. Okay, so after the ninth row, in our tenth row, we're going to start decreasing. So we're going to do two single crochet, then decrease and repeat all the way around for a total of 18 stitches. So we're going to do two single crochet and then decrease. And 
and then we're going to keep repeating that so two single crochet and decrease Okay, so you're going to continue repeating that all the way round. Okay, so after that, uh, in our 11th row, we're going to do four single crochet, then decrease and repeat all the way round for a total of 15 stitches. So we're going to do single crochet one, two, three, four, and then decrease. Okay, so you're going to keep repeating that so for single crochet decrease all the way round okay so after you're done with that uh, in the next five rows which is from row 12 until row 16 which is the last row you're going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of 15 stitches in each row okay so uh, it's going to look something like this so these are the last five rows so when you're done you're going to cut your yarn and uh, leave a yarn long enough for sewing like the way I did and then after that I'm going to show you how to make the hands okay so for the arms we start with the magic ring as usual and six single crochet into the magic ring into the first row and then in the second row you're going to increase every stitch all the way around for a total of 12 stitches so I already did that uh, as you already know we did that many times okay so now we're going to start on the third row so in our third row we are going to do single crochet then increase single crochet increase all the way around for a total of 18 stitches okay so we're going to do single crochet and then increase in the next stitch And then we're going to keep repeating that so single crochet increase okay so continue repeating that all the way around until the end okay so after you're done with that uh in our fourth row we're going to do two single crochet then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 24 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one single crochet two and then increase in the next stitch and then you're going to keep repeating that so two single crochet and then increase okay so continue repeating that all the way around okay so after that uh, in our fifth row we are going to start by doing seven single crochets okay so we're going to do single crochet one two three four five six seven okay and then after that we're going to do popcorn stitch in the next uh, stitch because we are forming the fingers now okay so for popcorn stitch we do five double crochet in the same stitch so we're going to do double crochet one and then in the same stitch do double crochet two and then continue doing that double crochet three in the same stitch And then another double crochet four okay and then the last double crochet in the same stitch so double crochet five okay so after you're done with that uh, you're going to pull over this other yarn in your hook and then pull out your hook and come to where you started over here so as you can see double crochet one two three four five so you're going to go at the back of the first uh, double crochet put your hook through and then 
pull the loop uh, that you left over here and pull it through that stitch okay and then you're going to do a chain one okay and then we're going to continue again doing uh, three single crochet or single crochet in the next three stitches so we're going to do single crochet in the next stitch single crochet one single crochet two and then single crochet three okay so this is our first finger that we formed over here okay so after that uh we're going to do another popcorn stitch to form the second finger so we're going to do five double crochet in the same stitch so double crochet one two three four and the last double crochet five okay and then i'm going to pull my hook out and then i'm going to go to where i started so one two three four five put my hook over here and pull the loop then I'm going to do a chain one and then again I'm going to do three single crochets okay so I'm going to go in the next stitch and do single crochet one two three okay and then I'm going to do another popcorn stitch so double crochet one two three four five okay so one two three four five over here and pull through and do a chain one okay and then in the remaining uh, eight stitches you're going to do single crochet all the way round so we have a total of 24 stitches okay so after you're done with that uh, in our next row which is our sixth row we're going to do single crochet all the way around for a total of 24 stitches so do single crochet all the way and then we'll start the seventh row together okay so after you're done with the sixth row in our seventh row we're going to do single crochet in the next two stitches then decrease and repeat all the way around for a total of 18 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one single crochet two and then decrease And then you're going to keep repeating that so two single crochet and decrease okay so continue repeating that all the way around okay so after you're done with that uh in our eighth row we are going to do single crochet all the way around for a total of 18 stitches so I'll see you when you're done with the eighth row so that we do the ninth row together. Okay, so after you're done with that, uh, in the ninth row, we're going to do single crochet and then uh, decrease and then repeat around single crochet, decrease all the way around until the end for a total of 12 stitches. So we're going to do single crochet and then decrease. And then you're going to keep repeating that so single crochet and decrease okay 
so keep repeating that all the way round okay so after you're done with that you're going to start stuffing your feet at the bottom i mean your hand at the bottom uh because in the next 11 rows which is from row 10 until row 20 you're going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of 12 stitches in each row and then when you're done with the 20th row you're going to cut your your uh you're going to cut your yarn and leave long enough for sewing so you're going to have your arm is going to be this length like this so for the next 11 rows do single crochet all the way around and then when you're done with that i'm going to show you how to make uh these little spikes okay so for the spikes we're going to make six of them okay so in my case i made like this so it's going to be one two three four five six okay so six of them as you can see okay and uh i'm using the white yarn so we're going to start with the magic ring and six single crochets into the magic ring and then in the second row we're going to do single crochet increase single crochet increase all the way around for a total of nine stitches so i'm going to do single crochet and then increase in the next uh, stitch and then I'm going to keep repeating that so single crochet and increase okay so you're going to repeat that one more time okay so after that uh, in our third row we're going to do two single crochet then increase and repeat for a total of 12 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one single crochet two and then increase in the next stitch Okay, and then you're going to repeat that again uh, two times so two single crochet increase two single crochet increase okay, so after that uh, in our fourth row which is our last row you're going to do single crochet all the way around until the end so when you're done you're going to cut your yarn and then make it flat like that because you're going to sew it when it's flat like that okay so and then after that I'll show you how to make the eyes the eyes together so for the eyes we're going to start with the white part and we're going to start with the magic ring and then we're going to do seven single crochet into the magic ring so we're going to do single crochet one two three four five six and seven okay and then i'm going to pull my yarn okay so after that i'm going to place my marker over here okay so in the second row we're going to increase every stitch around for a total of 14 stitches okay so i'm going to go to the next stitch and do two single crochet in the same stitch and then i'm going to keep repeating that so increase also in the next stitch okay so continue increasing all the way around okay so after you're done with that uh, in our third row we're going to do two single crochet then increase and repeat all the way round okay so we're going to do two single crochet it's a little bit tight so two single crochet 
and then increase in the next stitch and then we're going to keep repeating that so two single crochet and then increase okay so repeat all the way round okay so at the end of the round you have two stitches remaining so you're going to do single crochet in the remaining two stitches okay and then after that uh, in our fourth row we're going to do single crochet all the way around and then we are going to decrease in the last two stitches so do single crochet until you have two stitches left here at the end okay so in the last stitches left here at the end we are going to decrease okay so after that uh, in our fifth row which is our last row we're going to do single crochet all the way around until the end and then when you're done you're going to cut off your yarn and then we're going to do the next part which is the upper part of the eye okay so after you're done with that now for the upper part which is the eyelid uh, we're going to start with this uh, magic ring and eight single crochet into the magic ring so i already did that so in our second row we're going to increase every stitch around for a total of 16 stitches okay so i'm going to place my marker okay so i'm going to increase in every stitch okay so increase okay and then i'm going to increase also in the next stitch So I'm going to in keep increasing all the way round. Okay, so increase until the end. Okay, so after you're done with that, uh, in our third row, we're going to do two single crochet, then increase and repeat all the way round. Okay, so we're going to do single crochet, one single crochet. Two, and then increase okay so you're going to keep repeating that so two single crochet increase all the way round okay so in the last stitch which is left of the third row you're going to do single crochet and then and then you're going to continue to the next row Okay, so in our fourth row, we're going to do single crochet all the way round. Okay, so do single crochet and then I'll show you how to do the fifth row. Okay, so after you're done with that, uh, in our fifth row, we're going to do single crochet all the way around until we have two stitches left here at the end. So we're going to do single crochet and decrease at the very end okay so do single crochet and then i'll show you how to decrease here at the end okay so here at the end we are going to decrease okay and then uh in our last row which is our sixth row we're going to do seven single crochet and finish so we're going to do single crochet one two three four five six and seven okay and then i'm going to slip stitch in the next stitch and cut my yarn okay so now uh that is our eyelid finish okay so when we are touching the eyes you make sure the part which is with the seven extra stitches is at the top so we're going to put uh, the white part here 
uh, inside the blue part like that so our eye is going to look like that so as you can see here the way I attached in the on the head and then I'm going to put some other some safety eye on top black safety eye on top okay so now I'm going to explain how to attach all the parts together okay so guys now as you can see I've already finished attaching all the parts together so I'll just explain how to attach the parts together so first we'll start to the belly so for the belly you make sure it lays uh, it lays on the front side of the belly so which look which has a curve so when you fill in your body make sure it has some kind of curve so that uh, it looks like it has a belly here uh, in the front part and then after that uh, you have to sew the arms after doing the belly you sew the arms at the very top of the body before attaching the other parts okay and then after you attach your arms the third thing to attach is gonna be the head and for the head you have to make sure the last uh the very last part of the head is uh in line with the last part of the body as you can see so that it has like the mouth protruding like that okay and then after attaching that uh for the here for the legs don't feel them first so first you have to sew them of a uh, in on the inside part without feeling them first so you attach the leg on this side of the leg and the other side of the leg and then after attaching them you're going to feel them you're going to do the feeling after attaching the upper side and then you're going to attach the feet and then the same goes to the other side okay and then here for the tail you have to make sure the tail starts from the very bottom part so on the uh, it starts from one two three four five six from the sixth row from the bottom until the top so uh, that's going to be the tail and then I used some fabric glue to attach uh, the spikes together so I just make sure they have a little gap uh, onto them so I have one two three three on the body and three on top of the head okay and then for the eyes also you have to this is very important you have to put the white part inside the blue part so i already showed you that when we were making the eyes and then i use this uh googly eyes so they can move up and down that's the one that i used to put on top and also on the other side okay so that's it guys so i hope you enjoyed this pattern if you have finished congratulations i know it's not easy it's quite it takes quite a long time but i love the results so if you haven't checked out my other video please check them out and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to support my channel and until next time bye